Today we have uh, the Professor Angelus Seguin from Romania. He's actually, he's currently a professor in the master program at the University Catholic of Valparaiso and he participated in the 34th EMO on 1983 and now he's going to solve the problem number four. So please, Professor. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, okay, I will present the solution of the following problem. The problem is this. If you have three points in the plane, A, Q and R, B, Q and R, we define M of B, Q and R to be the minimum of the altitudes of the triangle B, Q. And then if we take four points in the plane, A, B, C and X, we want to prove that we have this in uh, Okay, the proof which I will give now is more analytic, it's after 20 years of doing <laughs> mathematics, so now I think differently probably. So the first case, the first case is when I have the point X is in the interior of the triangle ABC. In the interior can mean also on the sides. That doesn't change anything. Okay, how we do it in this case? The first remark is that this, this uh, M of PQR can be written as something else. And it can be written Uh, as the area of the triangle divided by the maximum of the three sides of the triangle. Well, no, two times the area. PQR divided by the maximum of PQ, QR, and gamma. Okay. Then uh, we can apply this formula to this, uh, these three values. For example, the first one says that m of a, b, x will be equal to 2 times the area of a, b, x divided by the maximum of the three sides of a, b, x, a, b, AX and BX. But now we make the following remark. Uh, AX is always smaller than uh, the maximum of AB and AC because one of these two angles has to be greater than 90 degrees. And the same is for BX, is smaller than the maximum of AB and BC, and the same for CX. This means that these this sides, AX, BX and CX, are always smaller or equal than the maximum, the, the maximum of AB, BC, BC and AC. So here we have the inequality that this is greater or equal 2 times the area of ABX divided by the maximum of AB, BC, AC. Now, if we write the same for the other two, and we take the sum of them, uh, then we have the same denominator, we have the sum of the areas of ABX, uh, AXC and uh, BCX, so it will be the area of ABC. So it will be exactly the area of ABC divided over the maximum of the sides, so it's exactly this name. Uh, okay, this is the case for x in sum. Now we have to consider some two, two other cases. The first one is when x is, x is outside, so here is a, b, c, and here is x. Is. So x is outside but is, uh, is inside the opposite of the angle uh, b, a, c, is inside this. And 
And here we have two subcases. We have the cases when the angles B and C are smaller than 90 degrees. This will be a 2A. And we also have the subcase when one of the angles is bigger than 90 degrees. In our case here, the angle C is bigger than 90 degrees. And then this will be the third case. But first, first let's do this. Okay, in the first case. So this is the case when the angle ABC and the angle ACB are smaller or equal than 90 degrees. Okay, now in this case we claim that M of uh, X is BC is greater or equal than M of ABC. And uh, how to prove this? Well, we just we can just look directly at the, the altitudes of the two triangles, ABC and XB. And we can see that uh, the corresponding altitudes of XBC are always greater than the corresponding altitudes of ABC. This one is bigger than this, this one is bigger than this, and well, I didn't draw the other ones, but it's the same. And this is just because these angles are smaller than pi over uh, In this case, uh, there is... You, uh, If one angle is bigger than pi over 2, then it is possible that there is one height of ABC which is bigger than one height of XBC. But the point here is that that height will not be the minimum height. Because if this angle is uh, larger than pi over 2, then uh, the, the largest, the maximum side of the triangle will be the opposite. No, it will be AB is the largest side of ABC, XB is the largest side of XBC. So the height, the minimal height is the corresponding height to this side. And now because this angle is smaller than pi over 2, then uh, we get that uh, the, the, the altitude from XBC must be bigger than the altitude from ABC. So we have the same relation. Uh, this in both A and B cases. In the both cases, this is right. So, well, in these cases, you can see that uh, only this is already greater or equal than this. We don't need the other. Uh, and this works, of course, if X is, uh, I don't know, in some exterior angle of B or C. Now that is the last case when we have A case is, uh, is like this. In this case, for example, A case B intersects AC in a point Y. Uh, but why are these all the case, all the possible case? Well, if we have four points in the plane, it is we can either have one of them inside a triangle determined by the two. This is one case, this is the other case. Or none of them is inside the middle. The triangle determined by the other three. And they have a quadrilateral here. And this is the, the other possibility. And in this case, it's just a, we can just apply the previous case. So, if we look at the triangles YBC and XBC, uh, here is exactly one of these situations. Well, this situation works also if X is on one of these two uh, lines. So, here we will have that M of uh, X AB is greater or equal than M of Y A B. And also M of X B C greater or equal
other than M Y. Now, if we take the sum, we get that the sum of these two is greater or equal than the sum of these two. We don't even need to take the triangle X, X, C. And then the sum of these two is exactly, well, it's a case when Y is an interior. This case works also well, in the same way in axis on one of the six lines. So the sum of these two, well, the, the M, A, M of Y, A, B, Y, A, C is zero. So this, uh, this implies that uh, this case is okay. Because this, the sum of these will be greater than M of A, B, C. Uh, okay, this is a solution. Thanks. Thanks.